Hi, Shane. What's up, man? How's it going? Everything's good. Everything's good. Feeling good. Happy about being in the final. Everything's Another good. year in Final Four. Another yeah. year at the Final Four. Another year, you know, with this great event. So, uh, very happy right now. Yeah, man. I'm also very happy. I'm in Belgrade. I'm from yeah, Serbia. True. I'm in my true. country. Actually, true. I started working with EuroLeague four years ago. Four, oh, wow. five years ago mm -hmm. here in Belgrade. Nice. At Final Four. And how is your, what is your impression now with the fans? Uh, it's, it's been different, great. no? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely different. Uh, different than my first experience in Vitoria. Obviously, different than last year. No fans in Cologne. Uh, so it's been great. Uh, great atmosphere. Both games were very intense games. Came down to the last minute. Um, so it's been amazing. Amazing, amazing uh, event thus far. And uh, hopefully, you know, it can continue to be great. Yeah, last night was amazing here. It was, looks like you was playing in Athens, no? Yeah, it <laughs> definitely felt like we were in Athens. Uh, I was talking to my family after the game. And um, I told him when I ran on the, onto the court, it was probably one of the loud, loudest boos I've ever received. Yeah. And uh, that's bigger than when we played in Athens and anything. So um, it was impressive the way they showed out last night. And, um, you know, credit to them and their fans for, for that great atmosphere. Yeah, it's one of the biggest venue, yeah. basketball venue in Europe. It you is. Know? It's, yeah, it's been, most crowded, it's sold yeah, out. Yeah, it's been, this has been, you know, by far my favorite Final Four thus far. Especially if we can win it, that'll make it yeah, by far the best. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see, let's see that great. tomorrow. I mean, yeah. you start the season being destroyed by Real Madrid, no? We did. Uh, first game of the season, we played them on their home court. They beat us by 15, 20 points and um, kind of set the tone for their season. And obviously, they made it all the way here to the final. We had to, you know, climb out of a, of a out of a dark place, but um, we did it once again, and now now we're here with the chance. So um, it's all you're gonna ask for an opportunity, and, and we got it. So see what uh, we can do. That's that's why I love basketball, man, because you cannot you cannot never be for sure that the team that is first place yeah. all the season, like Barca, yeah. gonna take the cup. You know, yeah. you guys, you had like ups and downs, yeah. ups and Madrid as well. Madrid yeah. was losing, yeah. losing. I don't know how many games. Yeah. And look now, you're both in the finals. Yeah, that's that's basketball. Like you said, you know, basketball is a game of runs. It can go great at any moment, and it could also go bad at any moment. So you know, credit to them for being resilient. Credit to us for being resilient and fighting and clawing our way to this point. And uh, we're both good teams, experienced teams that know what it takes. And now we just got to go out there, fight, leave it all on the floor and, and see who comes out the victor. Yeah, and, that, and then again, like Final Four is one game. Exactly. It's like Euro Cup, you know, it's exactly. not like playoffs that you yeah. have games and games. And I know you lost in Turkey, you yeah. lost the game before coming here, yeah. you know, so yeah, everybody exactly. was like, oh, okay, there. Yeah. But you know, then again, this is yeah. one game, you can wake up in the morning, you're tired. I mean, for me, it's the same, you know, when you're doing like, right. when you're shooting one day, yeah. <laughs> you know, you don't feel the same like you felt yesterday. Right. So, yeah, I'm sure, man. No, no, but this year, for example, like uh, Juventud Badalona, mm -hmm. like in Euro Cup, right. they were like amazing. Mm -hmm. And then one game, bam, they're yeah. out. Partizan Belgrade, you know. Yeah. Mm, with Obradovic, everybody's yeah. saying, no, no, Partizan this year. And then one game in full one arena, game. Right. <laughs> they're out. Yeah. So that's, that's, I mean, that's what I, it's not fair, you know, right. but that's the, that's the, that's the sport, man. Yeah. It's like, uh, that's, that comes with it, you know, and you know, when they choose it to be this kind of tournament kind of aspect, like you said, it's just one game, anything can happen. So um, that's what makes this such a special event, I think. Obviously, it's not the most fair concept because maybe not the best team wins every time, but at the end of the day, it's all about, you know, having the opportunity to become a champion, having that one game, that one chance, that one effort, that one extra play that you may have to make. And, um, it definitely makes it more exciting. So uh, it's tough, but uh, it's a good event. And like to change a little bit, like what is your favorite city in Europe? Ah, oh, that's tough. Um, obviously, I love Istanbul. Obviously, I've been there for four years. I'm really comfortable in the city. They've, you know, welcomed me, supported me. That's why I joined the national team. So uh, I really love Istanbul. Outside of Istanbul, um, I actually really love Spain. Uh, Barcelona is really nice. Madrid is really nice. Um, okay, so you like you like sunny yeah. countries? <laughs> yeah, I do love sunny countries. Not Berlin yeah, or <laughs> yeah, not 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 the cold countries, but uh, I like the sunny countries. Good atmosphere, good energy. I live in Miami in the summer, so Spain oh. kind of gives me that kind of feeling a little bit. Obviously, different culturally, culturally, but um, kind of gives me that same kind of energy. So you live in, in two cities that I've never been. 
Yeah. But I really want to go there. Never know? been to Miami. Never been to never Miami. Istanbul. You know, never to Istanbul. Oh, wow. Istanbul, I've been like uh, only with the EuroLeague on oh, the yeah. airport. <laughs> That's oh, wow. what all. But this year, I think I'm gonna go to Istanbul. Yeah, uh, uh, great city, man. Because I think the city offer. is really amazing. A like, lot. Um, yeah, it's great. City. And our show is huge in, in Turkey. Yeah, you know? like, we yeah. Have a lot I was, of fans I was there. one of the watchers, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely was huge in Turkey for sure. So Miami, yeah, and I heard your father is a Hall of Famer. He is. Yeah, so, uh, baseball guy. Played 19 years, one of the best to ever do it. So yeah, he was, he was pretty good. Like, I mean, the father sportsman. Yeah. So what is your favorite sport apart from basketball, of course? Um, American football. American football. Yeah. Do you course. know much of American football? I don't know really. I'm really autistic yeah. about sports. You know, I'm right. only basketball fan. You know, yeah, I can watch big. some other sports, but you know, like. Not even football, like not even uh, soccer. soccer. Not even. No? Oh, wow. <laughs> no, That's different. Not even here. tennis, you know. I'm like oh, from wow. Serbia, you know, Novak Djokovic yeah, right. is like He's one of the best ever. <laughs> not even, you know. I'm just basketball and I'm watching all the leagues. You can see me in the morning watching Chinese, up. Australian <laughs> league, and people asking me, Are you watching? Do you saw this series and this series? No, I don't have time. <laughs> I mean, like you guys, when you're traveling, you put right. your Netflix and you watch series exactly. because you don't want to watch basketball. You true. Know? For me, it's the same, true, man. True. Hey, very true. <laughs> I feel you, man. I want some real action because our job, everything is <laughs> scripted, you know? Yeah, everything true. is like this and I know true. how. So in the end, everything is the same, you know? But the basketball is always like different. Yeah. And soccer, I don't know, like I can watch like, mm -hmm. especially where it's like uh, World Cup or something like right, this, right. but it, it's boring, man, for me. Yeah. <laughs> it's boring. Yeah. That's great. I mean, definitely different. I mean, I didn't grow up watching soccer, so maybe it's different for me because I'm trying to watch and understand exactly what's going on. Um, but yeah, that's interesting. Have man. you been to any game? Uh, I actually went to one football game in um, in Turkey, Galatasaray. I actually played Madrid. Galatasaray uh, like, Madrid. Yeah, wow. I think two or three years ago, and it was great atmosphere. <laughs> Galatasaray great. fans. Yeah. No, no, about the atmosphere yeah. in Europe. Great atmosphere. I've been now in LA. I, I saw Galaxy LAFC oh, local yeah. derby. How was that? It's amazing, you know. Oh, what? But this is yeah, yeah. I don't know. It was crazy. I mean. Oh, nice. In America, they they know how to make a show, man. It's that, really that is like true. entertainment there was amazing. Yeah. But you know, when you go to Bar Barcelona to yeah. Barca Stadium, like yeah. hundred thousand people, yeah. it's like feeling, yeah. you know. But for me, it's it's like okay, that's the other one impression. But the other thing is what's going on on court. Right. You know? nah, um, for you, not yeah. much really. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. True. It's not a lot of goals. You know, it's kind of a lot of passing back and forth. So I, I can understand that for sure. So yeah. So you you have a sportsman father and i heard your sister she's an artist she's yeah. a singer yeah she's a singer um she's been doing it for for a while now um, she's younger she's, or older than she's you she's younger she just turned 25. wow cool. um so she's, she's in younger. the states yeah she's in the states lived in miami um she's grinding obviously she's not where she wants to be yet but she's grinding she's working hard and um she got some nice songs out so um you know hopefully they catch on and she you know continues to grow along her path and becomes exactly what she wants to be. And you like that kind of music? Like yeah, I mean, I think uh, obviously being my sister, I kind of have an influence on it a little bit. Uh, we what's always you, what's, talk you, what's about your it. music? What, what music you like? Uh, like r and I'm a big r and person. r hip hop, uh, no? Yeah, hip hop, r and um, So yeah, it's, it's around that kind of genre. Do you do, you do the same thing like uh, Vasa? He's listening, you know, yeah. like, but yeah. music Vasa's yeah, listening. Yeah, Vasa listens to a little bit different music <laughs> yeah. than me, though. Serbian folk music, yeah, yeah easy. Exactly. So do you do the same thing like him, like before um, the game, listen to like, your yeah. sister songs? and Yeah, this, yeah, that kind definitely. Of... In my headphones before the game, listen to all the R&B, rap, that kind of music for wow. sure. Yeah. That's so cool, man. That's so cool. Yeah, that's dope. Okay, Shane, good luck. Thank you, man. Good luck tomorrow. Appreciate really it. nice talking to you. Very and nice talking to you too, guys.